I have hit the funny button. Uh... Oh my god, it's Genshin Impact. I missed Dane's Lift. I love Dane's Lift. Cool, and the audio's all good. Oh yeah, there's drops. I have drops enabled. I always forget about that. There we go. Okay. Everything should be fine. He's just sad. I love him. <laughs> He's got a dummy hat. You're stinky, Nia. What was this? What's this artifact over him? Because I know I was doing artifact farming the other day. I don't remember what. Oh, that's what I was farming for. Oh, well. He's kind of... He's kind of not the best right now. Actually, you don't... Whoa, wait. What did I get this great? Wait a minute. Oh, weapon. That's why. I got it. Got it. Okay. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. I love it when people don't know how to knock. It's great. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Dailies. On well, my dailies. Just real quick. Because why not? Why is it? Pyro just finds icon look different. Or maybe I'm crazy. I might just be crazy, let's be honest. <laughs> um, let's just go do these real quick, and then we'll get into the interlude. Right? It's an interlude? Yeah. Whoop. I mean, they say it's, they just say it's chapter three, act um, six, but like, I think they're just interludes. All the fucking Conrio stuff is just interludes. What the hell? I hit space, but okay, game. Swarm Fury. You know, sometimes you miss and hit the C. I mean, my thumb is pretty close to both C and space bar, so. Makes sense, makes sense. Treasure Horde is always a treat. And the balloons are always annoying. <laughs> Quit following me. Where the hell? Oh, 
There's another guy up there. That's why. This isn't gonna hurt? No? Maybe? <laughs> Why does that one like lock on up there, but then all the rest don't? A little... Oh, come on, game. It's right- it's right here. All right, I'll just- Watch it, Vermin! How amusing! <laughs> Ow, I thought there was a second one! Mage. Too slow. I wonder if it's Hydro. <laughs> Christ. Thank God it's not. <laughs> Mind the daily. The wind rises. God, Ayato's burst is just so pretty. He's just a pretty guy. I appreciate him. Uh, we'll just walk there. Because then I can just find this and do the fun thing. Whoops, wrong. <laughs> Following me. Feeling. Huh. Too slow. Yaha. Cry loud. He's, he's just really good. He's just a good boy. He's just depressed. <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, uh, he's so sad. I feel so bad for him. Quit following me. Add Astra. Shut up, Catherine. Thank Give you. Give my rewards. Add Astra. Okie dokie. Master Jamie. I don't need any of those, so we're just gonna poop. 
Oh wait, I don't have enough for like full things. Oh well. Uh... So we're gonna do this. Uh, this one is the better one, if I remember correctly. I don't go to Port Moromos a lot. Okay. So before I do anything, we need to make a small bad decision. So I currently, I think I have like 90 or something saved. Let's see. Oh. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, I have, I have like 90-ish. Like, saved up. So I could get Baiju, right? <laughs> Spending money, I gotcha, no problem. <laughs> I have- I have a free 5-star, right? However, on the weapons banner, uh, one of the 4-stars is upped, it's stringless. And I need one more stringless for an R5 stringless for my venti. So I'm just I'm deciding between should I should I do it? Should I try one ten pull? It's about twenty five pity. Nah, -uh. okay. There's no such no thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot go on for No stringless day, no stringless day. If I get enough little freebies where I'm over 90, then I'll do it. But if I don't, nope. Thank you, Donnie. Also, hi, Donnie. How's it going? The, the, the stringless without the stringless. Alright, here we go. Huh? Wait. You're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? Who's after you? Me, you need something from us? So what good? You better oh boy. do. <laughs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another outlander. Oh he was God. a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Another Took advantage outlander. of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. Ah, <laughs> so, yeah, oh, yes. The Genshin Postal Service. The Abyss. <laughs> uh, he just wrote, <clears throat> Next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. <laughs> what? So the address is Paimon? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Right? Address to traveler, to but the, the actual letter, address is Pylon. To compensate him, really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. Great. Well, let me see this letter. Let me see it. How I'm really curious. Who could have sent it? Of course. Here sent it. it. <laughs> All yours. Give me my paper. Come on. Come on, let's have a look too. My antiquated paper. <laughs> Kaya. It's been a while. How have you been? I've heard that the two of you are traveling in Subaru. And I have to be in port almost on official business. No bitch, you ain't. No way. Lately, I've been stopping by at Tafar Tavern uh, for a drink or two every afternoon. No shit. If luck's on my side and this letter successfully reaches you, come to me and we can catch up on old times. We'll see you as a faint encounter. Your trusty buddy, Kaya. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you, Kaya, but I love you. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Crafty does describe him pretty well. Yeah, I can't see I'm hugely surprised. This is definitely Kaya's style. From what he wrote in the letter, it looks like he didn't think there was much chance of it reaching us. There's always chance of us accidentally being into bullshit. Miracle of fate, so that we'd have to go meet up with him. Because he's a bitch, yeah. Very scheming indeed. Well, no harm done. It'll be nice to catch up with him. Yeah, you're right. Hey, yo, Sky. Nice How's it friend? going? The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? 
Let's go beat up Kaya. Just a little. It'll be funny. Oh, it's because my time, Lamo. <laughs> Wait, did I just say it was a wine-scented letter? God damn it, Kaya. Mance is always drunk. Kaya shimmy at Jafar Tavern right now. Let's go see him. Yeah, that's him, all right. I recognize that stupid, weird scarf thing anywhere and the rat's tail he wears. <laughs> I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Of course he has. Oh? Well then, just the bill, please. It's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! I'm unhappy that you were playing some sort of prank on us. I thought you were being a little hey, shit, Paimon. but that is very Travel. Kaya. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> if you say so. We missed you too. I haven't seen him since, like, what? Right? what Windbloom last year? Every afternoon drinking at the tavern. You itching for a lecture from Dean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. The acting grandmaster positively terrifies me. <laughs> Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? Uh huh. Very believable. You terrified? I don't buy it. The truth is, <laughs> I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. Yeah, huh? So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Bullshit. <laughs> Sumeru spices are famous the world over. And it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. Mm -hmm. That's why the knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. This is as if you said Diona wanted to come for that reason. So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master D. Luke are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? Hmm. <laughs> well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not depends on how I nice can't I'm believe feeling. you. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Brothers. You personal grievances isn't very nightly, Captain. Captain. <laughs> I'm guessing you've been to Sumeru before. Oh? What makes you say that? You came to Sumeru all on your own, so you must be quite familiar with the place because I know my bitch ass got really lost walking around. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh-huh. And? Do continue. Mischievous, mischievous. <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Don't worry about it. You don't have to go into great detail. But tell well, me anyway. Right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. They're not even hiding it anymore. Like, they were hiding this before. They were like, oh, well, wh where do you think Kai is from? Because he's the only one who doesn't have the same skin tone. And then it's just like, oh, yeah, everyone's like, oh, yeah, fan theories. We all we all think it's Conria. And then at this point, we're just like, yeah, definitely. It's fucking Conria. They're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Conrad. I'm like, yeah, it took you how many years to get here? Away the cargo <laughs> and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. It wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. <laughs> it was a short-lived adventure, 
Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Speaking of Conria, because every single interlude chapter is the Abyss and or Conria, how much do you know about it? <laughs> Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. <gasps> Dang! <laughs> My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. Mm -hmm. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. Is it a really peaceful in Mondstadt me, until we come around, is it? <laughs> Even if it means being cut off from certain things. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Alberic, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. This is really them just saying, y'all should Death stop trying to ask boss. him. Oh, hey! <laughs> just sits his just sits his now! No invitation! No, hey, how's it going? No, it's been a while. I saw your brother. No, it's just... Bam, Dane. Tell me. What do you know about the significance of that name, Alberich? <laughs> My mom's like, it's been a ah, while. You've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsliff, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, that's when we met him. We met so him in remember? Mondstadt, near Wolvendome. Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Alberich. Descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. What? Huh? What? Hold up. Am I really behind on theories? Or when did this pop up? What? Huh? The the Abyss Order? What? This bitch. <laughs> I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. <laughs> I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Yeah, that, that's Very been around for clever. a while. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Mm -hmm. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? No, he doesn't feel like it. Hey, hold on now. <laughs> this conversation he likes being is taking a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. That's a lie. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? No. Relax. <laughs> Knowing your ties I'll to the fucking Dawn Winery, yeah, to sure. Hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow, as I have always been. I trust you, Kaya. Either way. No, not even the I like think, I guess. Time. No, I trust Kaya. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. Damn. Oh, Dang, you made it awkward. Do your thing, Kaya. Can't See believe you, you killed the vibes. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> you don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? Yes. This remains to be seen. So you said that there's an Alvaric, uh, founded the Abyss Order? I thought my sibling did that. Although, I already know that my sibling's just the current ruler. There's no way in shit that my sibling started this because we were thrown back when Connor well, was being destroyed or slightly before it. Prince, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if he was the founder, he'd be the king, right? 
So what do you plan to do here in Sumeru? I, mean I know you're doing some shit. Investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? No. Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan. Oh, oh, the upside down. Oh, that. Yeah, no, I remember that. It's been a while, but yeah, you got a new lead. Not new, though. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Oh. My brother. He mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. All the way back then? <laughs> that was already several centuries ago. <laughs> Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that he mentioned back then? Hmm. Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in a Vidya forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! How about you just want treasure? No. Now is not the time. Are you concerned about the Abyss Order, or are we waiting for the perfect moment? No, it's just... I'm still waiting for my drink. <laughs> Seriously? I want my booze. Alright. Let's go. Let's get into it. They really just dropped it in the face, like, full confirmation about this Conrad kind of shit we've been speculating over years. Ding a ling ding. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Uh, I should probably. It is a big quest for big boys. Pull out the big boy team. <laughs> I heard something aggro me. <laughs> wait. This place, it's familiar. I think I can very faintly hear the battle music for an extra second longer. Yes, the forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here, after all. True. Let's search the area and see what we can find. No, you know. Is this a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here. Or, wait. Maybe nothing ever was grown here. It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. That's responsible. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. With the Wait, bird on it. We're just gonna go barging in? What if someone's home? Well, that's when we walk up to it and Unlikely. yell hello. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. If you say so. Well, uh... You lead the way then, Dane. <laughs> Alrighty. Time to go. This place does look pretty abandoned. Oh, it's the bird on the house. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, so there really isn't anyone home. <laughs> Ugh, this place is so dusty. Paimon bets no one's lived here in years. Crap. Well, it looks pretty ordinary. Huh? There's nothing underneath it either. What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt Dane, so hope I didn't say anything super important. <laughs> hey, look! It's a bowl! Guess whoever used to live here liked to cook, huh? Can't you smell it? There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. 
You sound like you're fucking dying, Dane. I hear that. Hmm. Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, Dane. That's a, that's something coming from Paimon. Our resident bloodhound that floats in the air. There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. What in the world is going through your head? You sure are going places with your paranoia. <laughs> huh? This is... a mirror. It's broken, too. Was this a makeup box? Or it was a jewelry box. Just a regular broken mirror. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Paima was hoping we'd uncover some super big secret. Especially after Dane talked this place up! Wow, roasting him. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything else worth our attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? I mean, what about the very big box right there? My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Let's go and check. Noises? Is it... Hilly Charles? It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. It's always Hilly Charles, man. Especially when you're randomly wandering in the forest. Oh, it's just... It's just some slimes, literally. Monsters? Wow. Dave's ears are sharp, just like his nose! He's in surprisingly good shape for a 500-year-old. Wow, you're really... You're calling him out oh, hard on them. No time to lose. The wind moves. Just some slimes. I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be something nearby that attracted them. A like, ley line what? anomaly, perhaps. Hmm. But it seems to be more than that. Okay. I mean, they're just I'll slimes. Go they're probably for like to food. investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. Take a nap. What? <laughs> You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. Your he suspicions already does a are lot. as banal as they are unwarranted. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such, someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. Uh, fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. It, it's not even like camping. We're just gonna sit. <laughs> just Good thing pop a spot. Fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. Paimon, you're thinking of their stomach again, huh? <laughs> the shadow will smack you in the face. <laughs> Their cooking is as good as ever. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. <laughs> I was literally just talking with people about this yesterday. About how there's like this being seated in that at some point we're going to be separated from Paimon. And I'm just here like, God, when's it going to happen? Well, freeloading comes more naturally to you than most. You're easy to please. Changing the subject. It's taking forever. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? We are next to the chasm. We came together, but now it's back to just being the two of us again. You know, now that Baima mentions it, we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? Yeah, it's been years, hon. Um, so, don't take this the wrong way or anything, but, uh... Do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? Actually, I like Paimon. I think her design's cute. She's actually a really funny companion sometimes. 
and she's just enjoyable to have and i and i don't find her voice annoying which is weird because usually i would but she's actually a pretty good character i like her you make my every day paimon not really you're better than nothing i guess oh, nah you yes, make my every day <laughs> now you're embarrassing paimon <laughs> Aww. Hmm. you're my favorite so, menu hub <laughs> next question don't know if it's okay to ask this but paimon's curious what was it like traveling with your brother? Bro, I don't remember. <laughs> stares. Stares off into the distance. The stars? We'd gaze at the stars, just like this. We'd point at the planets we wanted to visit. Wow. We traveled through the universe, always by each other's side. We saw a manner of hope and despair. This is the first time we've ever been separated. Nothing else. I just want to know what happened. Being separated without even knowing the reason why, it's just terrible. But we'll find the truth together. Sure as Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, to that. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, to that. Uh, you know we've talked too long about this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead. Because if you're sad... Paimon will be too. Aw, oh, don't worry about it, Paimon. Thank you. Alright, alright. It's getting dark, so why don't you rest? Paimon will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. Yeah, Paimon will scream loud enough to hear it anyways. Well, that's a first. Paimon not going to bed before oh, me? come on! Don't say that! Paimon just wants to look after you for once. Alright, good night then, Paimon. Nighty night. Memories of Aether are in your head. <laughs> they are invading. Hey, time to wake up. The sun has risen. Hey, Dane, where the fuck have you been? It's been a whole ass day. <laughs> What a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... Hmm? Tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? Uh, they're All invasive right. thoughts at this point. <laughs> Rest here a bit longer then. I'll head into the forest to investigate. Where's Paimon? Sarah Miller Rose. Hey, I was right. <laughs> Paimon, is that you? This isn't time for hide and seek. Well, I'm curious. Oh! <laughs> they literally make it to where you can't open the menu right now. You're in literally a special domain where you can't open it. Oh. They really did it, huh? Halt! What do you think you're doing? Yeah, you startled me. Christ. This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my business. Be gone. That's a different looking bit. I kind of like it. What color scheme? Whoa, whoa. Just calm down. I'm only here to look for my friend. My traveling Our companion. Travel companion? You mean the one that was keeping watch by your side last night? <laughs> Wait the fuck up. Companion departed for the forest early this morning. That much I saw with my own eyes. If we're saying that all star eyes, we you know, were like the pupil is basically a star, are Conrians, and this guy is a different fit, are we saying that this is an NPC for Conria? 
So you mean to say that you were nearby last night? What you were creeping on us last hmm? night? All you need to know is that I claimed this place first. And what I do here is none of your concern. I stole your broken mirror. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave. You're well, weird. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I don't think I'll have much luck trying to find my companion in the woods. I think I'm better off waiting here for them to come back. <sighs> if you must, suit yourself. <laughs> I've been are you so like high off with the shrooms in the chasm? Don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone from the academia. Still, I'm warning you. No funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. <laughs> I'm no villain, nor will I pretend to be a saint. Okay. <laughs> I'm not fucking fine. Good person or anything. Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. May I join you? I was out here all night. I'm cold. You. <laughs> be nice to your guests, Grin. Oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? Relax. I've been around. It takes a lot to phase me. Come on, then. It is a room. Oh, it's just a heli trail. Why do you keep a heli trail at home? <laughs> Mind your own business. And don't worry. He isn't aggressive. <laughs> He's just in a dead How pose or sleeping. He was too young for anything like that. So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired or cold. You're from Conria, aren't you? Huh? No one else has eyes like you yours, bitch. <laughs> no Conria? Who are you? Exactly. And how do you know I'm from Conria? I'm just a traveler. I've met others from Conria. Your eyes. Uh, <laughs> and your clothes. Do you your worship fit? a god, traveler? I follow no god. In fact, I count some of them as my foes. Though I count some of them as my friends. I do count some of them as my Sounds friends. Like you've had an I have Archon life. homies. <laughs> All right, well, um, my name is Ida. And you are correct. I was once Conrian. So I'm like 500 years old. I apologize old. for my earlier hostility, but you must understand it's Shut up, Brixton. Humans who do not worship the Seven Don't worry are about it. Extinct. And all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. That sounds a little too black and white. Spoke like a true Conrian. <laughs> that may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been... I care you two posture few check back. Udo reverse card your posture. <laughs> this wretched curse of immortality... I... Who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this? Are like all the surviving Conrians just fucking immortal? Is that how they're gonna be like, hey, that's how they've lasted 500 years to this point? The fuck? <laughs> what is the curse of mortality exactly? I take it that's how long you've. Sur that's how. You <laughs> but, but, but I take it that's how you've survived so long? The curse. <laughs> it was. A little oh shit, those two new ones that's being? Hi, how's it going? Yeah, you should probably lurk or just not be gods. here. Because I say a lot of shit. We lost our home. <laughs> and we're our literally in the middle of it. Oops. Everything. The agony of... Because this, uh, this is the interlude from last update. Since there's no actual then main story this update. That's why I was just like, this is fine. Of release. All we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies 
decay. Hope you're having a good day to do. the today though thespian. Too many teas. <laughs> Ooh, have fun playing tennis. Congratulations, Braxton. You're in peaceful ignorance. I am so jealous. <laughs> So why did some people turn into hilly churls while you were affected by this curse and because, instead? Although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was a home to others too. So there was a bit of ancestral stuff that happened. The gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. Oh, that's when cool. The cataclysm came. We pure blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners upon us the gods placed the curse of immortality um. but those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled turning them into monsters so who is this hilly troll to you he is kari bear my illegitimate son <sighs> roll credits that was the name All of the quest times have changed. <laughs> i could say that out loud with no consequence now but oh, it was once a matter of unspeakable shame that's kind of sad i was a noble of conria i resented the life that my family had arranged for me and then one day I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt. It's always the Mondstadters. That mattered not to me. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Toma. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires. And, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. They cast this After guy all, really that, fucking well. He's god tier he as work. Into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. What happened to his mom? It always does go back to she Monstep was. because they're like, hey, don't forget that Monstep exists. That's why we have wind bloom every year. We were separated. I do not wish to dwell on it. I'm sorry. I know this must cause you great pain. It could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> and now, now that I have lost almost everything, the little that this. remains, <laughs> I see. I mean, I, I mean the Archon is drunk off his fucking ass all the time. Else. At least I still have Curry Bear. What do you plan to do now? What are you gonna do around here? Ah, oh, yes, I, that reminds me. I, I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me, if if you're uh, so inclined. The thing was, we just checked this house the other fucking day, and there was no Healy Churl there. So I'm be like, hmm... I know that the only reason we can tell this is Kyra Bear is because the fucking Conrin thing wrapped around the wrist, but still, like... Are we sure this Healy Churl isn't dead? Hmm. We're like, positive... Oh my god! There is no map. I was like, wait a minute, that line shouldn't be there in the mini map. It's like, oh my god, they literally threw us in like a weird domain thing because we don't have Paimon with us. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Honestly, yeah, yeah, I could see how far the border goes. It's only a little bit over there. I was gonna be like, I want to kind of see how far it can go, and then it's like, never mind. Yoink. Alright, what are you doing? 
crafting bench. What are you gonna use this for? I'm Minecraft. Sure wondering why I brought Karibear here to Sumeru. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. He needs weed. <laughs> One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. Make him unhilly, truly, by giving him clarity of mind? Question mark. I don't think I don't I think do not it's really possible, but I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom. I'm homies with her. I could just like, you know, ask her to make this. Of deep stupor. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. Hmm. <laughs> I believe that it might just work. <laughs> you having that funky laugh afterwards doesn't give me any confidence. But, uh, where'd you hear of this? I read about it in a book. <laughs> mm. From the Royal Library of Conria. It was banned. <laughs> I mean, since this medicine requires the power of the Seven to work, in my youth, I... I disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement. I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. I did see what new enemies were coming in like updates and stuff because I did watch that. I skipped the trailer because I was behind. And I think there, I think one of the new enemies has the kind of like symbol thingy on that's like near his neck. So maybe it's Conrian. I can't remember exactly though. It's been a while. You know, there's a reason why I was banned. This sounds fucking dangerous. <laughs> what other choice do I have? Hmm? What exactly would you have me do, huh? The gods have already punished us. What does one more sin matter now? Chill. I understand. Okay, go ahead and try. Never mind. As, uh... Long as you understand. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes. Uh, perhaps a consequence of having lived too long. <laughs> as it happens, I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. I think he got hit in my the head at some hands point. Don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. Oh, thanks to this curse of immortality. Hmm. Okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. Shroom. I've never seen a shroom of this kind before. I've seen something that looks similar, but also, it's difficult. Uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and... Sumero roses. Yeah, I have some. Oh, wonderful. Oh, in, in that case, we have everything we need. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. Hmm. Yeah, sure, okay. That is, that is a very strange shroom indeed. I'm concerned, because Dane said he'd be back. <laughs> and Dane has not come back yet. <laughs> Nameless Taboo Mebison. Hmm. Anyone with a fun bonus? Yeah, let's have Kaya make it. <laughs> Kaya was here earlier, let's have him make it. <laughs> okay. Here. <laughs> Here's your ball. Is it done? Oh, splendid. Let me see. Hmm. In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> the band book didn't feature any illustrations. How do you remember this? Well, 
The moment has finally arrived. Is it time to give Caravare the medicine, or are you taking it? No, no! We need to perform one final step to complete the medicine. I said before that this medicine relies on the power of the God of Wisdom for its restorative effects. <laughs> what, do you have a Gnosis or something? We must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. Ouch, that can't be easy for someone from Conria. I understand your reluctance. I can go do it if you want. Should I get into heated to hell? Forget it, he hates the gods. That'd be bad. <laughs> Let's go. Bring the medicine with you. Okie dokie. Nah, no zippy zippy line. Just pretty little Kazuha. Oh, thank god I landed in this for this. Look at this statue. How can I bow before this thing? God of wisdom! Look at me! She's looking. I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home, wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet he... here I stand before you. you. You cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. God of wisdom, I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through that my veins. That guy's a I That's why he was speeding. to beseech you to have pity upon a young and an unfortunate soul. My son, Carabere. He was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no fate. For a child. <laughs> you know, if you give the kid consciousness and if he's inside of a Hilly Troll's body, I think he'd kind of freak out. <laughs> was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads. Then I bow to you now. <laughs> I have given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Carabere. To see this world once more. Please, God. I beg of you. Oop. <laughs> I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. Things will get better. <laughs> now it's zippy zippies. I follow the wind. Time to go. All right, hey, Carver, would you like Carver? a ball? Well, we've prepared the medicine. We might as well try it. You know, the other side of the spectrum, I could just kill him. <laughs> Cory Bear, it's me. It's your father. Cory Bear. Anything? Kari Bear, please say something. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I... I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. 
Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Coribert? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? I'm so sorry, Coribert. Forgive me. Please, say something, anything. Please. Please. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, gods above! What more do you want from me? You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you. I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it. But you won't even let me die. <laughs> I knew it. I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the gods. I was <laughs> just deluding myself. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Calm down, Evie. Might be other reasons it didn't work, by how your shrooms looked weird. <laughs> uh, other reasons? What do you mean? Such as, uh, maybe the dosage was too low, or maybe it takes a full course of treatment. Huh. You, uh, you really think so? Y you gotta do everything, unless you're really ready to give up on Kari Bear. Give up? No, no, n never. Uh, yes, you're right. I... I, I cannot let myself. Should we really be encouraging this guy? He's, he's off his rocker. I must stay here with him for fifty years, a hundred. I don't know what difference does it make. I, I do not lack for time. That's the spirit. I'll keep helping you. <laughs> Let's go. We'll make another dose. <laughs> The most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things complicated, but not impossible. Where'd you get the shrooms, anyways? I grow them in that field. In a field? Like a crop? The details don't matter, right? Curb your curiosity and just do as I instruct. If you truly wish to help me, that is how you can do it. Fine. There is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. I'll be here watching Curry Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. Okay. Good. Then and please head over when the time comes. Yeah, because they know that you can't. Oh. Oh. Everything is wrong. Where the fuck is Dane? Dane. Please come back. I'm scared. This guy's crazy. Good thing I changed into the, like, the strongest party I have. Because, uh, if anything goes wrong. Oops. <laughs> Your water, sir. <laughs> Easy man. Ah, you're back. Uh, Cara Bear's condition is stable. He gives me By such bad I mean, vibes. I don't like Still him. isn't responding. Anyway, give me the water. Here's your bucket. I need you to stand guard here for uh, a while. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Understand? Of course. Your secret is safe with me. I like how there's just that animal 
Slime was just in the middle of the background. <laughs> Good. I'll be back soon. The fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. Um. I see. As one with wind and cloud, one with nature. Riptide. Ah, uh, what more? The wind is melting. Who's next? Hey, man, there were some happened? evil monsters on the way. Oh, thank goodness you were here. I couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. <laughs> oh, yes, um, I've got the fertilizer. The effects can take some time to kick in, so <laughs> let's get on with it. Okay. Next, we pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. The, the first time we walked up to this field and we were like, man, this field is really infertile. And I looked at it, I was like, man, what if this is just like a graveyard? There are like dead people buried here. And that's how he's getting these weird drooms. You wanted shrooms, sir? Hmm. Ian Madison's ready. Stop daydreaming. Oh, uh, sorry. I just, uh, after resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. I assume I the elemental energy is fucking with their brain. I've been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here in this field and Never wake up again. But though the curse denies you even this, you still have carried that. <laughs> I do indeed. That's why it was just a f fleeting thought. Thank you for your help once again. And now, for the final step. Back to the Statue of the Seven. This guy reminds me of, like, every, like unhinged Mark Hamill performance I've ever seen in my life. And it's really just like, man, this guy's really good. And just making me feel actually kind of very freaked out and creeped out by this character. We're here. Let's begin. <gasps> Wait a moment. Hey, what was that? Kari Bear? What? He left the house? Oh no! He must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice! Uh, come on! We have to catch up with him! Okay. I mean, that wasn't him because he didn't have the little wristbandy thingy, but okay. Yeah! Yeah! Got it. <laughs> oh, what? They don't actually drop any shrooms or meat anymore. Because we're in the weird instance. I see. That's... That's not Kari Bear. No, there's no scarf arms on. <gasps> right. Kari Bear's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. I use it now as a, a marker of sorts. My... my eyes must be going. <laughs> How could I not recognize my own son? <laughs> this decrepit body of mine... <sighs> Still not Hilly Trilla. There's something strange about him. <sighs> yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems intent on walking in that direction. Where could it be going? No idea. 
Let's go look. Yes. <laughs> the more we know about Healy Churls, the better. Why are you creepy? That's a domain thing if I've ever seen any, but there he goes. Did it go in here? Well, let's head in. Should we be leaving your child alone? Your illy churl child alone? What a ghastly place. Looks Have like Anka. Always existed. I, I swear I've never noticed it before. What are those hilly trolls doing? Oh, it looks like they're uh, worshipping. Sometimes uh, walking, sometimes kneeling in worship, and, and it appears to be in earnest. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? Oh, there's only one way to find out. Can I have my Paimon back? And cut, and cut, and cut. Hmm. Yeah, this is Enka, alright. This it? Oh, I can change my party here. Cool. <laughs> They're like, hey, we realized you didn't walk into this quest knowing what the hell was going on, so we're going to uh, let you change your party here. <laughs> Let me see the light coming in from anyone. It's underground. No time to lose. I don't like it here. Oh. Hey, welcome back to the Void Ones. Is this a teleportation device? What energy is powering it? I surrender my powers. I don't like how that uh, that close behind us. Anyways, into the wind. I can hold my bag, right? Okay, there's oh, maybe a train. Is that food? Let's light it up. Hmm. I have the heebie jeebies. They're very heebie and very jeebie. This is fun. This is definitely Ekonomia. Fallen leaves adorn my night. Have a thingy.
This is his domain, I can't climb walls. Hello, Hilly Trail. <gasps> How did I get on the ceiling? Did the room turn upside down or gravity itself? Okay, I get it. Geography? Geometry? Uh, not your strong suit. I see, I see. Thanks for the shortcut. It seems like I need to find a place to insert the rune. Oh boy. <laughs> this doesn't bode well. Bro? Do you insist on an audience? Very well. Then I grant you the trial of destiny. Okay. You can run. I hit one, but nothing happens. Order guide. <laughs> Stabilize. Everybody stand back. The wind knows. Just torching back there. One with nature. Get out of here. Adventure time. Gather. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. The wind knows me. As one with wind and clouds. Solidify. <laughs> Who was that? He was. Uh, he was. Terrifying? I've seen similar characters before. He was a perfect being. I'm in awe. Huh. He had the most wondrous aura, a perilous yet beautiful power. Oh, truly mesmerizing. And yet, you. I mean, Conrad started the abyss, so. Oh. Your strength is greater than I had imagined. <laughs> Stop being creepy. You have unconventional tastes, and I just have a lot of combat experience. Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious by the second, and 
<laughs> more excited. <laughs> so you're just abandoning your son. Okay. That guy agrees. How is there light here? This is totally going to go well. Most definitely, yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, that, that looks like it's gonna be great. Oh boy. Oh, hell no. God damn it. All right. I think we've made it to the end. What is that thing? Doesn't it look kind of similar to other bullshit we've seen? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the Grand Thief. This place is bad. We gotta go. Needy. Oh, dear creature. Why do you bow down? For fear of the unknown? Or for power that you covet? Oh, dear creature. Why do you bow down? For I am no god. I am but a sinner. Okay. You are like a flower born in sin, yet pure, spotless. I know your fate well. Do you know? You need no longer hold back your resentment. Nor accept the countless lies. Go forth. Become a transcendent one. Rise beyond the fate bestowed upon you. Oh, are you turning him into an abyss like that? I shall shed a tear at the end of time. As I gaze back upon your life. Needy? What just happened? When I saw that thing, my my heart was instantly at peace. I I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or, or joy, perhaps. Are you okay? I am. I feel good. In fact, I I, I feel better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> Uh, how peculiar. Something's not right about this place. We gotta get the fuck oh, out of here. Uh, <laughs> is that so? All right. Uh, as you wish. How did we backtrack? <laughs> how did we backtrack that? Bro, I don't know. Something bad just happened. <laughs> Cory Bear! Oh, thank goodness! He's still okay! Don't we still need to go to the Statue of the Seven? Why are we back here? I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant to be. For this to happen, right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a Statue of the Seven, it's as if fate was calling to me. Uh huh. <laughs> you say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps it might be just as effective. That sounds like a ridiculous idea, but if you insist... I have to try. No matter what, you said it yourself. I I have to exhaust all options. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lumion did say that. Uh, Kari Bear. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh fuck. What? Papa. Oh, Cory Bear. Oh, oh my goodness, it worked. It's a miracle. Oh, oh Cory Bear, my dear son. I can't fool you. Um, done. <laughs> you see, it worked. Cory Bear can speak again. Uh, where's Mama? She's dead. Mama is. Uh, Cory Bear, look at me. Do you know who I am? Of course. Your papa. <laughs> salvation! Sweet salvation! Yes, yes, this is this is what this feeling is. How do Dean you slip, feel? come get Call me, I'm scared. Are you fully awake now? Yes. It feels like I just woke up from a long, long sleep. I dreamed that I was hiding in a little room. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. Wait. My body! What happened to me? Is this... Is this me? Papa? What's happened to me? Uh, don't panic, son. It's just... While you were sleeping, we... We went into a fairy tale world. There, there's no more Conry uh, here. Um, no more. Uh -huh. But, 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 do you know what that means? No more red sky. No more end of the world. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you get to stay with Papa forever. Am I dead? No, 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 kind of? no, of course not. Look, Kari Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? Really? Yes, really. You've all only just woken up, and, and this must all be very confusing for you. Just rest here for now. Things will get better. Oh, oh, and, um, you have to promise me something. Never take off your mask. Understand? Whatever happens, you mustn't take it off. Okay, hmm. Papa. I won't. I promise. Not since that day have I been so... Glad as I am now. I can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it, it's pretty unbelievable. <laughs> I knew that placing my hope in the Seven was a waste of time. <laughs> I I even worshipped at one of their statues like a, like a common fool. <laughs> Never before have I humiliated myself like that. Once a murderer, always a murderer. <laughs> I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever offer redemption. But the god we saw in that cave, oh, now that was a true He said he was a sinner. Mighty god. Nothing like one of the seven. That wondrous power, it was truly enchanting. I... <laughs> Mm. Surely that that must mm. have been the reason I bowed down. Hmm. Now then, after one beseeches a god, and the god responds by answering their prayers, should they uh mm, do something to show their devotion? Uh. Piety is hardly my area of expertise, <laughs> but surely I should honor the god that has honored my wishes. E, that wasn't a god, that was a sinner. A sinner? Oh, don't be absurd. You you don't know a single thing about him. How dare you utter such blasphemy? I'm not religious. You and I have both witnessed his divine power. When has the seven worked a miracle like this before? Hmm? Never! 
He is a god mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner. Oh, preposterous. Stains live, come get no me. Matter. I don't want to be it's here no you more. Will. You cannot shake my faith. I am going to pay my respects with or without you. Sure, I'll watch your kid. You fine, go ahead. Man, I don't want to enter the cavern. Oh, let's go. Wait, I'm curious. What the? It's just a. Oh, it's just a sumter beast. Okay. Which didn't aggro on me for some reason. Oh, I want to talk to that guy. Do you live in the fairy tale world as well? My name's Kari Bear. Nice to meet you. Hi. This ain't a fantasy hunt, but your your dad's an ass. <laughs> Too. Wait, what are you doing here? Ecological issues in this area require further observation and analysis. You scholars and your big words. <laughs> you know what would really impress me? My whole family's having a hard time. They really added them in so we you'd think it was just regular ass sewer. <laughs> Come back. I wanna I don't wanna be here. Something bad's gonna happen. Do we have fast travel there? Or do I have to walk my ass all the way back? One with nature. Please. There we go. No, they're really like, you gotta walk your ass all the way back, huh? No, impossible. What happened? It's gone. It was right there. The hilly churl worshippers have disappeared too. What was it? All an illusion. That seems unlikely. You couldn't have both seen the exact same illusion. That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that. Awesome and wondrous power flowing through my mind and body. Hmm. It was neither illusion nor coincidence and, and certainly no dream. <laughs> it was a wonder. Yes, a divine wonder. Hmm. Let's go, traveler. There is surely a reason for its disappearance. And I, I do believe that someday in the future, we shall see it again. 
You're turning into a zealot. Let's just get back. Could he really have been a sinner and not a god? Carver's dead on the fucking ground. <laughs> he died to the shrooms. Cory Bear? Where has he gone? Uh oh. He's not in here. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe someone else came by and found him? No. No, it can't have been that. There's there's no sign of a break in and, and no sign of anyone having been here. Maybe he ran off? This but what? does not bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or a, an adventurer in his current state? They'd... There's no time to lose. Then we have to find him first. <gasps> Wait a minute. This isn't how we left it. The... Oh no. Did he? Took out the mask and saw his face. The mirror, it's broken. What is the broken mirror? Mean? He must have taken his mask off and seen what he looks like beneath it. Oh, if he'd just done as he was told, oh, we have to find him. Hmm. Well, <laughs> it's his scarf. He Excuse dropped me. it. Uh, looks like we are going the right way. Uh, come on. Okie doke. I guess we're going. Cory Bear! Cory Bear! Where are you? Dang, I wanted to see my rope before it took me. Curses! Forest Rangers. Hey! Who are you? We haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? We could just wait that we know Tainari and leave. <laughs> have you seen a, uh, hilly churl? A, a hilly churl should have uh, come past this way. <laughs> have you seen it? I asked you first. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. I said... Have you seen a hilly churl? Hey, hey whoa. Whoa. Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see plenty of them out here. Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. Uh oh. You. Now he's gonna lose his shit. He means like oh, don't. Right don't. Just Scum! You, you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear! You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the forest rangers! Curse you all, forest rangers! Stop it, Edie! Or the forest rangers and I'll have to make you! Hi, my friends are raving. I don't get it. Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly churls? Makes no sense. You. He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do this to him? So tell me, forest rangers, did you really spare none of them? Did you really take out every last hilly churl you saw? Jeez. You're really not going to let this go. Fine, you weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh, use the toilet. <laughs> I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. It was just bumbling along in that direction. So I left it alone. There, look, there's still hope. Could have been Cow Bear. Let's go. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's, let's go. Uh, we have to find him. Wait, you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info, goodbye? I mean, you guys were kind of assholes, too. I 
Ja, man haben wir. Wow, at the edge of the playable area, who would have guessed? Cory Bear! Cory Bear, stop! It's me! It's, it's Papa! Whatever you saw, it, it was... It was all a trick. An illusion. I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Please, Cory Bear, come Don't back. Don't ever say nothing is real it's to someone who's standing at the edge of a fucking uh, cliff. <laughs> Cory Bear? Relapse. How could this happen? He regained his mind. He he must be able to hear me. Surely. Come, Cory Bear. We have to go home now. Papa's here to take you home, all right? Hold on, something's not right with him. What the hell is a strange power done to him? Papa! Cory Bear! Papa, I can't take it! Please, Cory Bear! It's my fault! I'm so sorry! If only I'd known! It's all... It's all too much! Papa! <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> I see. I understand now. Finally, it all makes sense. <laughs> ah, traveler, you're awake. Finally, we can rejoice together. Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some time now. What do you mean true identity? Edie, are you good? <laughs> I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. <laughs> I had to talk to you to be sure. But I've never met you. Oh, of course you haven't. With your status, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. Let me guess, this is gonna case, be like that other. I've been using a fake name. Yeah, this entire yeah. Time. <laughs> Ida is the name of a servant I once had. My real name is Clotar. Clotar Alberich. Oh. <laughs> oh, um. Oh, uh, <laughs> Alberich, are uh, you. Uh huh. You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call us Sinner. It was one and the same. <laughs> yeah. I am positive now. It's the power of the abyss, isn't it? Oh, at long last, I have seen it with my own eyes. I didn't see clearly what happened to Kari Bear. That is no business of yours. So he jumped off. Sinner. Yes. Salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. Karibar did not deserve his fate, but now it's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become oh, the great. loom of fate. You're right about this being from the abyss, but the abyss is sinister and dangerous. It's kind of not good news, Home Slice. Sinister. And you've been dangerous. insane this whole time. Oh, I never imagined that you, of all people, would deny the abyss. How ridiculous. We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. To us. I'm Lumine. You were the abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination I'm and comprehension. And the one who controls the abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. 
we looked to you to take us there. But what did you bring us instead, O oh, Prince of Conria? Wrong. Uh, what did he just call me? Dun, 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 dun. We've been angel the whole time. Holy cow. Traveler. Hey, traveler. Traveler. Dane, Dane, Dane will be out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. You're awake! Oh, thank goodness you're awake. I'm almost worried sick. Uh, traveler, traveler. What happened while you were unconscious? Oh shit! I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the Abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the Ley Lines. What did you witness? The founder of the Abyss Order, Alberich, um, what happened to- You mean Clotar Alberich? After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, Neither his faith nor the abyss he worshipped could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. And despite that, my brother ultimately sided with him, didn't he? You could say that. He wouldn't be the Abyss Order's prince otherwise. Are you alright? You have a troubled look on your face. I have something to tell ya, and it's not about to be good. So you saw his memories from centuries ago, through your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time. Mm. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your brother never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder, was that the moment that he decided to go down this path? I also wish I could know what he thought about all of this. Because, damn, it's been years. <laughs> But one thing is clear, this is not a happy memory. Indeed. Clearly this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This was where it all began. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. There's something I need to check. What is it? I need to know what lies buried in this field. Oh, field? What does that have to do with anything? Get a shovel. <laughs> right now. Here. Well, let's start digging and see. You scared the duke out of Paimon! Did, did you rebury them yet? We're done. You can open your eyes now. A male and female skeleton. Buried together. Boom! Interesting. Called it. <laughs> the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later. And it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. Oh, oh. And how did you know oh. that there were bodies buried here? He used his dead wife to try and revive his son, and then oh, oh, oh. damn! You fed your child mushrooms grown from your wife. Oh, the the, the bones of this man want to clip that out. What? There. That's impossible. Unless. Lotar Albury finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. Maybe he did. Mm. This all raises far too many questions. I need time to think. 
and to search my memories for some missing pieces. We should part ways here. Huh? Bye, Dave. Why? You could come with us, you know. It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Probably. Who's he? The voice I heard inside my head? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity. But I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. But See after Fontaine. He saw the traveler. How is that possible? It was just a memory. It happened hundreds of years in the past. I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. What? Why? What is he? Sinner. All right. Let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. Mm. 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 There goes Dang. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? Oh, hey, Pamela, one more thing. Mm -hmm. What is it? I missed you. <laughs> huh? Aw, we hugged Pylon. Aw, oh, my heart. That was nice. I didn't like that. I, I didn't like that. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't like that. I had a feeling the moment I saw this field, I was like, dead bodies, huh? And say, so, yeah, dead bodies. Oh boy. Oh boy, dead bodies. Oh, dead bodies. Wait. Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. I have no idea who the sinner could be. Not a single goddamn clue as to what could happen with that one. I guess we'll just have to see and find out, because he is definitely not the brother. It's the sinner is someone completely different. Ooh. Ooh, we did get lore today. Ooh. I don't, I don't like that we got lore today. <laughs> I don't like how they hit- they hit us with that lore really hard. Uh, let me... Let me unlock the heaters. So I'm gonna need to do that. I'm not unlocking Deus yet. I don't really care about Dea. All I know from Deus is that it's like just her past. Ooh, that was a hmm. That was a time. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth, and those that come across Leo tend to stay a while. Wait, let those me just bring up Paimon made... to feel better. There's Paimon. Hi, Paimon. I missed you, Paimon. Oh boy. Oh, did I accidentally voice cancel his Osmanthus wine? <laughs> <laughs> Where are those who share the memory? <laughs> okay, well, uh... Damn, that just happened. <laughs> that, that happened. I need to think and also go through theories, fan theories. It's been a while since I looked through any fan theories. I definitely need to go through some new ones. See what's going on. So I'm gonna call it here thank you so much for watching i hope you had a great time whether it be day or night i still have a twitter it is still skies vintage you can still go check it out uh, i retweet and do uh dummy things and i'm silly i still have an archive youtube it is still linked in switch profile you can go check it out there if you want some vods that are not crinkly as i assume most of my streams are crinkly uh <laughs> you can go and check out there there are some new vods up that are not crinkly they're in high quality hopefully i haven't checked if they're actually in high quality but they should be because the files were in very high quality so everything should be good there uh there is extra work this weekend it is a new salmon run event in splatoon 3 where we just go through five waves of salmon run but apparently according to one of my friends you get to pick your weapons out of the four presets and i'm like oh that sounds good so I got a, I got a team going. We're all gonna hang out on Saturday. At, I want I want to say like 1 p.m. 
Central Standard Time. I want to say. Depends on when I wake up, let's be honest, because uh, Friday is 12-hour Yakuza, and we're just going to, like, we're just going to destroy Yakuza 3 because it's not been a very good time. So, I'll see y'all then, and I hope you have a great one. Bye!